Chinese media have said that they think that India will be the next factory of the world. Can you see this being the case and can India provide what China has long provided to the world? With slowdown of China and its rising labour costs, uh, companies are turning to India for manufacturing. And it's also the government's Make in India campaign that has put a limelight on Indian manufacturing. So while India's manufacturing and industry is just 26% of its GDP, in China it is 46% of its GDP. So this makes an absolute logical sense. The government recognizes the potential and the importance of manufacturing sector, not only for economic growth, but also a only way to generate employment and employ 12 million youths who are entering labor force every year, making India the fastest growing economy in terms of labor force. So while all this makes absolute sense for India to move its growth potential from services to manufacturing, it's going to be a monumental task for India to achieve this. It will not only re require huge capital investment, but will also require a lot of strict policy reforms by the government, which the government has been a bit slow right now. So until that happens, Make in India campaign will be a nice slogan and a far-fetched ambition. How much are the two emerging economy superpowers, China and India, connected? Since the Indian economy opened up in 1991, linkages between China and India have increased. However, it is trade between two countries is limited to just $70 billion, which is nine times lesser one than what China shares with the US. And even within this trade, it is highly skewed in favor of Chinese goods. So even though the government has tried to increase access of Indian IT or pharmaceutical industries to China, it hasn't met with a lot of success. And now it's trying to rebalance this deficit by moving from trade to investments, where China is seen as a source of capital, a source of technology, while India is a platform, an untouched market right now. With greater investments and greater possibilities for even China to look for investment returns when its own economy is slowing, it's a potential win-win for both.